Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day. I'm starting the vlog off this week. Just doing some solo motos behind the house. Probably going to go put in a 30. Maybe a 25, I don't know. But yeah, riding this weekend with the boys at uh, a guy named Rick Tra Tyler's house. It's called the Goat Ranch, not the Goat Farm. The Goat Ranch. Sand track, kind of woods, moto mix. It's pretty fun. Yep, hope everybody's having a good day. And let's get to it. And we've arrived at the track. What's the moisture content looking like? Pretty good, could be better. We've ridden it before and it's rained. So uh, got some rain ruts, but should be an all right day. Got the motor over with. I did about a 30, uh, started about 5.05 and ended at about 5.32 or something like that. But uh, time to get this thing washed up. Boom, she's clean. All the bike work is done. Got the new filter in there, oil changed, oil filter change. And the van's sitting up there and we're about to go get some gas and load up. Let's see if the old Vansky starts first try today. I'm calling a no. Whoa! So it's the night before. It's currently about 9.30. And we're having a slight issue in the van. All right, here's what I was talking about. Here are the two hoses. Run back to the back of the van. And this is the hose right here. The two hoses actually connected right there. And uh, so I just cut one of them, as you can see right here. I just cut it and uh, yeah, wrapped it back around. Hopefully I just blocked the whole thing off. It'll just recirculate back into the engine block and whatnots but uh man heck yeah but it should get us to the track so it's gonna be sick we are officially loaded there's the bike it took me a long time to load up because i had to park at the top of the driveway because i was still leaking cooling everywhere but don't worry it was coming out of lines that i had bypassed so it's all good got about 40 million zip ties with me and a gallon of coolant just in case so we're ready to shred All right, we're currently here. Got the bikes out, or the bike, and uh, set up in the van. Got the chain all lubed up, ready to go. Looks pretty good. Let's go take a look at the track real quick. Here's the track, track's looking good. Moisture content is prime. It's gonna be a good day. All right, so Rick and Blaine just rolled up. Look at this guy. Big enduro guy. Look. What is this? Is this blacktop bandit action? You've been riding this thing spec. on the road? That's spec tire. Spec tire? Yeah. Dang. Hooked him up with the freaking spec tire. Probably came right off of Cooper Webb's bike. The fatty. It's got a slight dent in it, but, but who cares? Enduro guy for the day. You it's know? all good. It's all good.
Knew that was gonna happen. So I didn't show y'all, but we got loaded up and uh, we headed on home. It's the next day and we're doing a little bit of track walk at my own track here at the house. My 40 second lap time track, but uh, it's post rain. So you always got to do a walk around to the track and make sure all the rocks have come up to the surface so that you can tuck your front end on them and uh, make sure all the roots are exposed so they become slick and unrideable so yeah it's looking prime uh for those conditions there so i appreciate y'all for watching uh be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to i'm gonna try to do these like once every two weeks maybe uh something light at first and once i get in a groove of doing that i think i can do maybe one a week so uh yeah thanks for watching and peace out